As ZepBound emerges as a groundbreaking treatment for weight loss and obesity, many are considering switching from existing treatments such as Wegovy to the new weight loss injection. But before making any change, it's important to understand the specifics of both medications. While moving to ZepBound could be a great move for your weight loss journey, there are many things to consider first, including dosage, side effects, expectations, and suitability. These are still not magic pills. There are side effects, and we know for this new one as well, we have those gastrointestinal intestinal side effects, things like nausea, diarrhea, constipation. With the injectables, you might even get a reaction around the site itself. Let's walk through these considerations together and learn everything you need to know to make a safe and effective transition from Wegovy to ZepBound. Wegovy versus ZepBound. Both ZepBound and Wegovy belong to the class of GLP-1 medications, along with Monjaro, Ozempic, and others. These medications are mainly used to manage type 2 diabetes and obesity. They primarily work by mimicking the action of the naturally occurring hormone GLP-1, which is involved in regulating blood sugar levels. But GLP-1 medications also slow gastric emptying and increase feelings of fullness after eating, making them an efficient treatment option for patients with obesity obesity and overweight issues. Switching between GLP-1 receptor agonists like Wegovy and ZepBound is quite common in the management of obesity and related conditions. However, each has unique properties and effects, making the decision to switch something that should be carefully considered and supervised by your healthcare provider. So before we delve into the specifics of switching from Wegovy to ZepBound, let's take a brief moment to understand exactly what each of these medications is. ZepBound is the newest prescription injection for weight loss, approved by the FDA in November 2023. It contains terzepatide, which is quite a unique and innovative medication because it targets two hormones at the same time, the GLP-1 hormone, like Wegovy and Ozempic, but also the GIP hormone. This dual action not only helps reduce appetite, but also enhances the body's ability to manage blood sugar and process calories more efficiently, promoting even more substantial weight loss. On the other hand, Wegovy has been on the market since June 20. 21. Its active ingredient is semaglutide, a GLP-1 receptor agonist designed to treat obesity. Unlike ZepBound, Wegovy primarily focuses on the GLP-1 hormone, enhancing satiety and reducing calorie intake. It's been effective for many users, but may not work for everyone, particularly those who experience side effects or less than optimal weight loss. Like ZepBound, Wegovy also received FDA approval for chronic weight management in adults who are either obese or overweight, with at least one weight-related condition. Their respective applications and target patients are quite similar. Is ZepBound better than Wegovy? Not necessarily. While ZepBound has shown greater weight loss results in clinical trials with up to 22% weight loss compared to 16% for Wegovy, it does not necessarily mean that it is better than Wegovy. When considering whether ZepBound is better than Wegovy, the clinical results aren't the only factor to look at. The choice between ZepBound and Wegovy may also depend on individual health conditions. For instance, patients with specific metabolic issues may find that the additional GIP receptor activity in ZepBound offers better control over blood sugar levels. Besides, both medications come with contraindications for certain medical conditions. Side effects. While both medications share common side effects like nausea and diarrhea, the intensity and occurrence can vary a lot between individuals. Some people may experience more side effects with Wegovy and find relief in ZepBound, while the opposite it may be true for others. Response to treatment. Some patients may lose more weight with ZepBound, while others may respond better to Wegovy. Ultimately, whether or not you should switch to ZepBound must be considered with your healthcare provider. How to switch from Wegovy to ZepBound? Okay, so if you've been on Wegovy for quite some time now and are considering switching to ZepBound, you're not alone. Many are turning to ZepBound, intrigued by its recent launch and high potential for better weight loss results. But while the idea of switching weight loss injections might be exciting, Exciting, it's crucial to handle the transition thoughtfully. From understanding how each treatment works to managing dosages and expectations, the transition must be done under medical supervision to ensure your switch is as smooth and effective as possible. Both Wegovy and ZepBound are administered via weekly subcutaneous injections, making the switch somewhat easier. However, because they act on different hormonal pathways, the transition must be gradual to minimize any disruptions in therapy or side effects. That's why when switching from Wegovy to ZepBound, your doctor will likely advise you to taper off Wegovy while gradually introducing ZepBound. This helps your body adjust to the new medication without overlapping effects that could increase side effects. 
Stop Wigovi before you start Zep Bound. It's important to stop taking Wigovi before you begin your Zep Bound. It's not recommended to take Zep Bound and Wigovi or any other GLP-1 medications together. Follow your doctor's guidelines. Some people can start taking Zep Bound the week after their last Wigovi injection, while others may need a few weeks in between the two medications. When switching to Zep Bound, your doctor will likely initiate treatment at the lowest dose, typically 0.25 mg per week. After the initial four weeks, Zep Bound is generally increased to 5 mg once a week. Your healthcare provider may continue to increase the dosage in 2.5 mg increments every 4 weeks or decide to go one step back to a lower dose depending on your needs and tolerability level. This step-by-step -step approach allows for careful monitoring of your response to the medication. It gives time for your body to adjust and helps minimize terzepatide side effects. The maximum recommended dose of Zepbound is 15 mg a week, but note that not everyone will reach that maximum dose. Finding the correct dosage when switching medications often requires a period of trial and error, which can be frustrating, take time, and affect how quickly you see results. Maintain a balanced diet and regular exercise. Achieving the best weight loss results from ZepBound involves more than just medication. It requires a healthy diet and regular physical activity. Work with a healthcare provider to create a personalized diet and exercise plan that includes a variety of nutritious foods and at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. Prepare for initial side effects. While ZepBound and Wigovi have similar safety and side effect profiles, you may be more sensitive to one or the other medication. It means that you may suffer from side effects, mainly gastrointestinal ones, from ZepBound while you had none with Wigovi. The other way around, you may feel much better on ZepBound than on Wigovi. Be aware that side effects with ZepBound are quite common, especially at the beginning of the treatment. Will my insurance cover ZepBound if I switch from Wigovi? Insurance Insurance coverage is a common concern when switching from Wigovi to ZepBound. Weight loss injections aren't always covered by health insurance. However, if your insurance previously covered your Wigovi prescription, chances are they will cover ZepBound too, especially since ZepBound is quite cheaper than Wigovi, with a list price of $1,059 for a month's supply compared to $1,349 for Wigovi. Talk to your doctor. Switching medications can present quite a lot of challenges. Your body needs time to adjust to the new medication's mechanism of action and effects. This adjustment period may be unsettling or uncomfortable at first. During this period, it's very important to keep open lines of communication with your doctor and report any side effects or discomforts you may have. Psychological factors play a big role too, especially in weight loss treatments. You might have high expectations based on your experiences with Wigovi or from what you've heard about the new Zep bound. It can be discouraging when a treatment does not yield immediate results towards your goals. Remember that weight loss is a long journey and that it's more sustainable when done steadily rather than quickly. Support from friends, family and online communities can provide encouragement and practical advice from others who have switched from Wigovi to ZepBound. It can really help in maintaining motivation, especially during periods when progress seems slow or when dealing with side effects. If ZepBound doesn't meet your needs or if you experience intolerable side effects, remember that other GLP-1 receptor agonists or weight management options are available. Typically, Typically, a minimum of 5% weight loss within the first three months of taking ZepBound is considered a sign of effectiveness. If this benchmark isn't met, ZepBound may not be the right medication for you. So don't hesitate to share your doubts with your doctor to explore alternative weight loss treatments. That's it for today's video, everyone. If you need more information about ZepBound, you can click here to check out our old videos about this medication, as they're packed with interesting facts, and we're sure that you will like them. Lastly, ZepBound needs to be refrigerated. Our for all family coolers are here to keep your injections safe and effective so please check our website linked below in the description of this video thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe for more health and wellness content until next time stay cool and limitless